world. What on earth are these? They look like jelly beans with attitude. They are cells, the basic structures of life. So what are cells made from? Well, I know. Why don't we build one and find out? OK, what do we need? Firstly, we need a cell membrane. This holds the cell together. It also controls what goes into and out of the cell. The second ingredient is cytoplasm. This fills up most of the cell. So what's inside the cytoplasm? Well, they're small enzymes which prompt chemical reactions within the cell. Is that it? Don't we need anything else to make a cell? Well, there's one more really important ingredient. And that's a nucleus. That controls what the cell does. So we've got three ingredients then. A nucleus, cell membrane and cytoplasm. Yes, except for a red blood cell, which doesn't have a nucleus. So why do all these cells look different to that one? Well, that's because they all do different jobs within the organism. What do you mean? Well, all those cells have become specialised, which means they all have different jobs which they have become especially suited to, just like people at work. For example, if a football player was suddenly asked to become a car mechanic for a day, can you imagine the chaos it would cause? Lots of cars with messed up engines. Precisely. Here we can see a few examples of different kinds of cells. You'll recognise some of these, I'm sure. OK, so cells with different functions may look pretty different, but they all have the same basic parts. A nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. That's because they're all animal cells. OK, so what about plant cells then? Well, they also have a nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane, but they also have some extra features too. Look, I'll show you. Let's change our animal cell into a plant cell. OK, the first extra is a large sac called a vacuole. Mm. This contains the cell sap. The second extra is a strong cell wall made of cellulose. What does that do? This helps the cell to keep a rigid shape. And the third extra... Green jelly beans. No. Pop them in. They're chloroplasts. So what are they for, then? They contain a green substance called chlorophyll, which enables a plant to make its own food. OK. So the difference between a plant and animal cell is that a plant cell has a vacuole, cell wall and chloroplasts, as well as a nucleus, cytoplasm and cell membrane. Yes, exactly. Now let's take a closer look at this cell membrane. Hey, look. It's got little openings. Yes, they're doorways which allow substances to get into and out of the cell by a process called diffusion. What's diffusion? Well, diffusion is a movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Look at those particles there. There are lots of them moving around the outside of the cell, but only a few inside the cell. This means that they are diffusing into the cell. OK. So what substances get into the cell? Well, nutrients like oxygen and glucose, because they have small molecules which get through the little openings. But substances like starch and proteins have larger molecules, which means they can't fit through. So the membrane's choosy about what gets into the cell? Yes, exactly. Cells are very clever in other ways, too. They don't just float about like this. They're highly organised. What do you mean by organised? 
Cells like this one act together to form tissue. This then gets together with other similar tissues to form an organ. In this case, the liver. This is part of a system, in this case the digestive system, which works with other organ systems to ultimately form an organism. In this case, you, Paula. Wow! So my body is made up of cells, tissues and organs. Right, which enable us to carry out the seven life processes that prove we're alive. Look, this is really important. All living things carry out these seven processes. And they are? Movement, reproduction or producing offspring, sensitivity or respond to things around us, nutrition, getting food to where it's needed, excretion, getting rid of the waste products, respiration or turning food into energy, and lastly, and by no means least, growth. Yeah. I see now, and plants do all these too. Hey look, that spells Mrs. Nerg. Mrs. Nerg, Mrs. Nerg. M-R-S-N-E-R-G. Movement, reproduction, and sensitivity. Nutrition, exclusion, respiration, and growth. The seven life processes, as everyone knows. I'm a dog. And that's a good way to remember this lot, I'd say.